What is up beautiful people? My name is Adriana Robertson and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my goal on YouTube is to ultimately encourage you through your struggles in life by sharing my tips, my tricks, and my life stories with you in order to help you live your best regardless of your mess. So the reason why I started my YouTube channel is because I feel like not enough people talk about grief. If you have been around since the beginning, which was only a month ago, then you watched my first YouTube video, and if you haven't, then go check it out, about how to get through Father's Day without a dad, which you can only imagine, <laughs> and you know that I lost my father 10 years ago to unexpected death. He died from a pulmonary embolism. It was a pretty traumatic experience for a 13 year old girl to go through. I just don't think that people necessarily have highlighted on the fact that grief is simply a human experience. It is inevitable and it is something that all of us will go through at some point in our life. And also we go through it all the time. We have small griefs and we also have large griefs and how we handle our small griefs leads to how we handle our large griefs. What I've learned in my grieving experience is that it's beyond easy. It is something that you will deal with for the rest of your life. It doesn't get any better, it only gets easier. You kind of just learn how to accept it as you go through it. I've also learned that it is a daily struggle no you don't wake up and you're like oh my gosh my loved one has passed away now you do experience that if you just lost a loved one but 10 20 years down the road haven't hit 20 yet but I've hit 10 you wake up and you go through your day and the littlest things the smallest things lead to you thinking about or remembering oh like yeah I lost my mom I lost my dad I lost my grandparent I can't just call them up like I you can't do that so it's a daily struggle you experience it daily and you carry it around with you also it has forced me to grow I probably would not know I know that I would not be the same person today speaking to you on camera if I would not have lost my dad I wouldn't have this experience to talk about so it has forced me to grow to read to understand and to accept the grieving process more so per usual if you have been a part of my channel you know that i give tips i am speaking from my own experience and my grieving process your grieving process is completely different than mine and know that i am no expert i am just speaking on what i have learned through grieving for the past 10 years. So it's going to hurt like hell. You are going to feel like you just got ran over by a semi truck. You are going to feel like your whole entire world is coming to an end, period. I did, I felt that. Probably up until like five years ago, I just felt like, how am I supposed to live every day without my dad? And the thing is, is nothing you say, nothing anybody says or does is going to get past the fact that your entire life has changed from you losing the person that you loved. Now with that being said, there are going to be certain things that you can do and like reading a book and listening to podcasts and watching a YouTube video that will help you and guide you through your specific process. Which then leads me into is you need to understand that people will pity you, but don't let them. The way that you don't let them pity you is you accept your own grief process in the way that it naturally needs to flow. So I'm not saying to not let somebody be there for you. I'm not saying to not let somebody support you. I'm not saying to not let somebody send you a scripture or a quote or whatever possibly makes you feel better and then also with them being sympathetic towards you. I'm just saying you need to accept the process, accept the fact that your loved one is gone, I know it is really harsh to say right now, especially if it's fresh for you, but you have to, from my experience, I had to accept the fact that my dad had passed away for me to feel better about it. So speaking on people, that leads me into people that you thought were going to be there for you through your grieving process are probably not going to be. Now, I'm not saying that like 
your immediate family and people like that, like your mom, your brother. But I'm talking about the people that weren't in your small circle are probably not going to be able to necessarily support you and hold you through your grieving process because they're grieving just like you. So you can't blame them because I, I can attest to this, I did and being angry while you're grieving is not okay. Um, you're just gonna have to accept things. The reason why these people can't be around you is because they see in your face, in your heart, in your home, in your aura around you, that person that they also lost and they can't handle it and that is okay. And you have to be okay with it because they are grieving to they are grieving that friend they are grieving that sister that brother that uncle that nephew that they're grieving just like you are and their process is completely different than yours so don't blame them which then leads me into find your process that leads you to peace oh <sighs> peace to be at peace with something that happened is a very hard thing to do, but you can do it. Being at peace with the fact that you have lost a loved one is ex extremely difficult, but you have to find a way to do it because you can't go on with life without finding peace in the fact that this has happened to you. Find a healthy way to release that emotion that you feel out. You need to get it out. I wrote. I journaled, I wrote down everything that I was feeling. I was angry with God, I was angry with the universe, I was angry with the people that weren't by my side, that hadn't seen me, that hadn't called me. But you have to be able to find peace within yourself. You can't depend on other people to help you with the emotion that you feel that you need to ultimately release. Because you have to be able to find peace within yourself and lead yourself down that path to joyfulness and happiness and, and peacefulness. People will come and go, people will dip out, but you have to live with you, so find your peace process. Find your process to peace, period. And with that being said, you will grow into your grief. And you're probably like, what in the heck does that mean? Just like a kid grows into a pair of pants, shoes, shirt, and just like when you get a job, you suck at it at first, but with training and through experience, you become great at that job and you will become great at growing through grief and getting through grief. It's just a process and you have to be willing to accept that process. Your pain ultimately is less than your purpose and the reason why you're going through what you're going through is because it can help somebody else. It can lead them down a different path than what you went through. <sighs> So with all that being said, I know it hurts. I don't know your faith. I don't know what you're, if you believe in a higher power, I don't know anything. I don't know anything about your life, but regardless, you will get through it and it will make you a stronger person. Don't give up on life. Don't give up on love. Let go of fear because fear is a liar and live, live your best. Life is absolutely a mess but we are going to get through it you're gonna get through it so with love and light and happiness I'm sending it to you I pray that your week is fantastic um I will add a link to my website that I just made live and I I want to hear from you I get it I know what you're going through and we're gonna get through it together. I upload videos every Saturday. And if you wanna hear more from me, like I said, like and subscribe, and also hit that little bell so you get notifications when I upload a new video. But just know that you are beautifully and wonderfully worth it, and that this life is not gonna get the best of you. Until next time, guys.